Mixtures and Solutions, Part 2, Solution Concentration. In this video, we will qualitatively and quantitatively express solution concentration in terms of percent by mass, molarity, and mole fraction. Concentration describes how much solute is dissolved in a given amount of solvent. In the terms concentrated and dilute are qualitative descriptions and not very specific. For example, if you make Kool-Aid and you add some extra sugar, you've made a concentrated solution. If you make Kool-Aid and you forget to add any sugar, then your solution is considered dilute. We can also use various units of concentration to quantitatively express concentration. In this video, we will use percent by mass, molarity, and mole fraction. Percent by mass is determined by dividing the mass of the solute by the total mass of the solution times 100. It doesn't matter what mass units you use, grams, kilograms, milligrams, as long as you use the same units on top and on bottom for this calculation. If a 250 gram multivitamin contains 1.0 milligrams of folic acid, we can determine the percent by mass of folic acid. Take a moment to perform this calculation. Pause the video if you're gonna need more than 10 seconds. The mass of folic acid is 1.0 milligrams, so we'll divide that by the mass of the whole mixture, the vitamin's mass of 650 milligrams. This gives us a percentage of folic acid of about 0.15%. The most useful concentration unit in many chemical calculations is called molarity. The unit is abbreviated with a capital M and is pronounced molar. Molarity is the moles of solute divided by the volume of the solution in liters. It has to be moles on top, and it has to be liters of solution on bottom, or it ain't molarity. We can use this definition of molarity to determine the molar concentration of 2.75 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolved in enough water to make the solution have a volume of 250 milliliters. You'll need to pause and go grab a periodic table for this one. To find the molarity of this solution, we'll need to find moles of sodium hydroxide using the molar mass of NaOH, which is 40.00 grams per mole. Upside down, that molar mass is a conversion factor from grams to moles. Then we'll divide the moles by the volume of the solution in liters. By moving the decimal three places to the left, we convert 250 milliliters into 0.25 liters. As a result of this calculation, we see that 2.75 grams of sodium hydroxide in 250 milliliters of solution is a 0.28 molar solution. As far as this video is concerned, the last way we're gonna represent concentration quantitatively is with mole fraction. The mole fraction of a substance in a mixture is the moles of that substance divided by the total moles of everything in the mixture. The name is a bit of a misnomer because we don't use fractions in science, so we'll actually always write mole fraction as a decimal number. Unlike a percentage, we won't multiply it by 100. So, what's the mole fraction of each component in a mixture that is 36 grams of hydrochloric acid and 64 grams of water? Get the periodic table and calculator out again, pause the video, because this will certainly take more than 10 seconds. To find the mole fraction of each component, we'll need to figure out how many moles of each component there is. The moles of HCl divided by the total moles is the mole fraction of HCl. The moles of H2O divided by the total moles is the mole fraction of H2O. Here's how we can calculate the mole fraction of HCl. I'll use the molar mass of HCl, 36.46 grams per mole, but I'll make it upside down in the dimensional analysis. I'll also need to convert the 64.0 grams of water into moles of water. I get 0.987 moles of HCl and 3.55 moles of water. It makes sense that there's so much more water moles because water is probably the solvent. Anyway, the moles of HCl divided by the sum of all the moles is 0.218 with three significant figures. 
Now for the mole fraction of water. Moles of water divided by the total moles of everything will give me 0.782 with three sig figs. And you know what? Those answers make a lot of sense. If you add them together, you get one, which is exactly what we should get because they are the only things in this mixture. All right, here's a sample problem for you. What is the molarity of a five liter solution with 32.9 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in it? Do you remember how to calculate molarity? Pause the video to solve the problem because 10 seconds won't be enough this time. Here's how I solved this problem. I took the mass in grams and converted it to moles using the molar mass of sodium chloride. Then I divided that by 5 liters of solution to get a total of 0.11 molar. I hope you've learned a little bit about quantitatively and qualitatively expressing concentration of a solution using percent by mass, molarity, and mole fraction. Peace out.